All right, we're back, and now we're going to move on to the torso of the Lego minifigure. So we're going to click on Extrude over here. So left click on that, and we're going to create, uh, select our plane that we're going to extrude off, and we want to choose the front plane. So just hover over that um, rectangle here. It's called a datum. Just hover over that, and we're going to left click on that. All right, but we're not going to work anywhere near here because that's the head. So we're going to hold shift and hold the middle click uh, on the mouse and just move the um, screen so that we're away from the head further down. And we're just going to ensure that we're in the front view orientation. So we're going to click over here on our view icon, our orientation icon, and we're going to go down to front we got to zoom out as well using the mouse and then do the same thing, hold shift and hold the middle mouse key to go further away from the head. Alright, so we want to create our torso. So we're going to use the rectangle tool. Um, the way to do this would be to um, just create a symmetrical rectangle, so a center rectangle. And we're going to go to the drop down menu and click center rectangle. Alright, so left click on this line, this middle line, and we're just going to create an arbitrary size, um, meaning it doesn't matter what dimensions it is, it can be like this or it can be like this, um, but we're just going to left click out of it and then middle click out of that. And it, as you can see, it's turned pink, which means it's a whole shape. So I'm going to change these dimensions. Uh, we'll start with a vertical dimension. So just click on that until it comes up like this. And we're going to change that to 12.9 in height, 12.9 millimeters in height, and click enter. And we're going to change this one to 15.5 millimeters in height, in width, sorry. So 15.5, 15.5. Is that really the height of it? That's almost as big as the head. Yep, that's, that's true. The head's almost as big as the body. I suppose it's not unreasonable. Alright, so once we've created that rectangle, we're going to change some things around. So the bottom length is 15.5, but it actually goes up on an angle so that this top length is smaller. So what we're going to want to do is create a construction line. Uh, I'm going to go into construction mode and create a construction line. And we're going to just click the normal line chain. And because we know this is 15.5, what we want to do is we want to go in um, by 15... Uh, let me just double check. We want to go in by 1.85 millimeters on either side so that our next line will just be a perfect 11.8 because 1.5 plus 1.5 or 1.85 plus 1.85 plus 11.8 is 15.5 so we're just gonna left click in this corner and left click anywhere out here as long as it's on this yellow line and middle click out and we're gonna check out the dimensions of that line and left click, double click, and triple click on this dimension. I'm going to change that to 1.85. Enter. And we're going to create the exact same line on the other side. And as you can see, the line on the left side of the screen has actually turned green. That's because the line on the right side of the screen that I'm now making is going to create a relationship with the other line and it's going to be the exact same size as that line. So we're going to left click while that line, other line is green, the left line is green, and then we're going to click out of that. So that will be exactly 1.85 as well, and there's a relationship between these two lines now. So now we're going to get out of construction mode, so left click on construction mode, and we're just going to create a normal line. So you'll want to go to this corner, of the construction line 
left click and we're going to go to the bottom corner of our rectangle and left click and then just middle click out of that and then again on the same side. Alright, as you can see we've now got a trapezium so where the, um, the two uh, horizontal lengths are different. So we're going to delete these outside lines now. So go to your delete segment tool up the top here and left click on that and left click on that outline and that outline and that outline and that outline. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to find out what length this line is. So we'll delete these two inner lines and we'll create a line, just a normal line between here and here. And we're going to middle click out of that. And then we're going to middle click out of all this shape. Alright, so it hasn't actually shown us that dimension, but that's okay because we can use the dimension tool to find out. So left click on the dimension tool and left click on that line and middle click out. And as you can see, it's thrown an error, but that's okay because we can still see the dimension and it's 11.8. So that is great. So just click X on that. And now we're just going to get out of the dimension tool by clicking on the select tool up top left here. Double clicking on the dimension tool will not get rid of it. And what we'll do now is we're going to actually extrude this shape. Um, and it is seven. So click on OK in that top corner. And we, it is 7.8 millimeters in width. So we'll change the orientation and that will now be 7.8 millimeters. So we can click on... Oh, one more thing, sorry, is what we're going to want to do is we're going to change this or maybe not. Actually, maybe yes. Yeah. So we're going to change this so that it extrudes halfway on this side of this plane. I'll get the orientation right so you can see it more effectively. We're going to extrude so that it's 3.6 odd on this side and, and then also 3.6 odd on this side. So we're going to go over to this area over here and we're going to left click on this drop down menu and the second option, which is a dotted line in the middle and then two rectangles on either side of that dotted line, we're going to click on that. Now, as you can see, it's changed so that that's in the middle of the head. And that's what we want to do because we want these two things to line up. So we're going to click on OK from there. So that's a symmetrical extrude. So click on OK. And now we have our body shape. So the next thing we're going to want to do is create the neck. So we'll left click on the top face and we'll then left click on extrude. Alright, so we're going to want to use the top facing of this uh, shape. So we'll go to this our orientation icon and we'll go to top and as you can see, we've actually, we're looking directly at the head, but even if we create shapes up here, it will still lock to this, this plane down here. So we're going to create a circle, which will be the neck. So we'll use our center and point circle, and we're going to go to the middle here, and we'll left click in the middle, and the size of this is 4.92, which is 0 0.03 millimeters less than the hole in the neck on the head so that that will slot into the neck so just left click out of that and then middle click out of that and as you can see it says 3.8 and we want to well for you it might be different but we want to change that size to what did I say 4.92 4.92 and click enter all right, so you'll now see that the the shape is actually locked to that front plane, that that top plane there, and it should be pretty much 
if you just look at both things there, it should be fairly similar in size, that hole and that circle there. So now that it's, that it's turned pink, we can click on OK, and we can actually extrude 